Netflix really dropped the ball on the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight. I mean, you had the works of everything. You got hella people on your platform just subscribing to watch one fight and you messed it up. You have arguably the greatest of all time fighting against Mike Tyson. And honestly, that sucked. There was buffering throughout the entire thing where some people myself included, we're just watching a freaking spinning logo on Netflix the whole time. I want to watch the fight. There were some great fights on it. We had Serrano Taylor. We had other undercard fights as well that were amazing. We had some of the greatest fights in boxing that I've seen in a long time. And I'm very much so a UFC MMA purist because of the way that boxing is run. But I enjoyed this card when it was actually not loading. It's ridiculous. Some people are even calling for actual refunds for people who paid for this because it's not fair. It's $6 to watch Netflix without ads or with ads. It's $12 to watch it without. And then it's $20 for like the, the all-inclusive 4K package. And this isn't the first time Netflix has had a streaming history. I was looking into this and I was like, oh, you know, it's okay, Netflix. This is the first time you've ever tried to stream something. You know, I understand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a little leeway here. But, you know, no, it's not the first time. And in fact, the first time was a Love is Blind reunion, which is like some reality TV show on Netflix. I have never watched it, but I've heard a lot about it. I see TikToks about it. Um, I have a wife, so I'm kind of linked into the feminine side of things. And ultimately, this is a big deal, but not even comparable to Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. If you told me 10 years ago that Mike Tyson would be fighting again, I would say you had lost your mind. Also because I'd be 11 years old, but I would say you have lost your mind. Mike Tyson is one of the greatest of all times. He does not need to be fighting again. He just needed to have his legacy, have his, have, go speak on some freaking advertisements and make him enough money to last him for the rest of his life. But we are seeing here, after all this time, Netflix dropping the ball. I mean, we had the works of something great, a 31-year difference in age. That is the largest age gap ever. The, the most recent one would have been 18 years and eight months. That's insane. That is literally insane. The largest age gap ever. And it's not something that's new to the Pauls. I mean, we, are, we already seen Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul with the 18-month age gap, which is absolutely absurd as is. It's 18-year age gap and shooting down five weight classes. Um... But with that being said, I actually, I just, now that I've trashed on Netflix, I just want to talk about the fight a little bit. I just want to talk to you guys about it, okay? Because honestly, I think Jake Paul's fights, or Jake Paul's post on the matter does sum it up pretty well. Let's check this out. He's got a couple pictures here of him kind of clowning on an old man. And then we got this video. 23% oh Tyson, Tyson came out. He came out really, really strong in the first round. Tyson did. Into a boxer. Yeah, oh, good shot. Oh. Oh. Again, the Hit, rocked Jake Paul a couple of times. Oh, and then Jake Paul just literally sits there and picks him apart. Tyson. This is the end of the fight before it even ended. Jake. Minus 1,000 aura for knocking off that half like that. Minus 1,000 aura for sure. That's insane, though. It, it, I mean... We had Mike Tyson come out really, really strong at the start. Really strong. First two rounds, he confidently won those. And then we had him get into the third, third round, you know, fourth round. And we just saw Jake Paul just pick him apart. Because you can't put a 58-year-old man against a 27-year-old athlete. And regardless of what you think or not, Jake Paul is an athlete. Uh, it, whether that be unfortunate, whether that be fortunate, he, is, he definitely is an athlete. And he's got the stamina that Mike Tyson, quite frankly, can't have. Power is always the last thing to go, but athleticism is always the first. And when you have somebody who relies on their athleticism versus somebody who relies on their power, it's just not going to be a great time. Now, with that being said, Mike Tyson was ducking, dodging, and weaving the entire time. He looked better than any other 58-year-old could look. I don't think there's another 58-year-old on this planet that could actually beat Mike Tyson. I really can't see it happening. He is a absolute beast. And for going eight two-minute rounds, that says a lot about him. Ultimately, in the end, I feel like this only damaged Jake Paul's reputation rather than damaging Mike Tyson's.
We saw Mike Tyson get bossed up a little bit, but he is literally on AARP, bro. He is above 55 years old. That is AARP. You literally could sign up for AARP. That This is not, not something that helps Jake Paul. I mean, Jake Paul has fight, fought retired fighters after retired fighters after retired fighters, and now he chose to actually fight a retired boxer, one of the greatest of all times, and I don't think it really helped him. Let me know what you think about Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson, a literal senior citizen. Bro is literally going up to car shows on his weekends in his Corvette. But before we end this video, let's go ahead and read the verse of the day from Deuteronomy 31, 8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you or, nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. If you like this verse, go ahead and share it with somebody. If you'd like to talk to me about Jesus, go ahead and join my Discord and I would love to talk to you. Y'all have a blessed day.